Look, silver eyes are going to each plum blossom, getting some honey or insects and moving on. I think they're getting honey actually. So that's Japanese plum blossom and they're busy silver eyes. I can't know for sure but they could be getting insects but I think they're getting honey or pollen or both. What are they doing? Looks like pot honey or nectar, doesn't it? That's what it looks like. Too far away for me to see. There you are. Something to do with each flower anyway, isn't it? And they're working very quickly. Very busy, hard to keep up with. Where are you? Straying from flower to flower like Carabino. Look at that. So pretty and so lovely, so tiny, so dainty, so delicate. Where are you? There are sparrows around, of course. And that's a pigeon doing a courtship dance. Where are they? So tiny. There you are. Still at it. So, silver eyes, which are from Australia, and the, some Pacific Islands, are eating Japanese nectar from Japanese flowers. Japanese plum blossom. Aren't they beautiful? So wonderful. Look at that. I've got a beautiful vase like that with a bird on a flower. A Chinese vase. Look at you. Flower to flower. There's definitely nectar or pollen or both. Notice that honey eaters tend to have that golden, golden sort of feathering. I don't know why that is. I can't keep up with that little bird. Silver eyes eat nectar. That's a lesson. I suspected it. Now I know it's true. Hello, sweetie pie. Where are you? Well, the big birds don't, the big nectar eaters don't bother with uh, plum blossom. So busy, like a hummingbird really, aren't you? Big birds don't bother with uh, small blossoms. Some larger honey eaters will go to almond blossom and japonicas though. So busy, busy, busy. It's spring. golden one. Little yellow bird. Up high in banana tree. I can't keep up with them. I just can't keep up with them. Can I? Well, I did something right if I planted that tree, and I did. So I did something right, didn't I? See ya. 
I wouldn't want to be a 